the probability that a 2, 3, or 7 is drawn is the probability of A. And the classical approach tells us in order to find the probability of A, we take the number of elements in event A and divide it by the number of elements in the sample space. Well, in this case, uh, event A is drawing a 2, 3, or 7. Well, there are four 2s, four 3s, and four 7s in a standard deck of cards. That's 4 plus 4 plus 4, or 12 elements in event A. And there are 52 cards in a standard deck of cards. So the probability of event A is 12 over 52 by the classical approach. Now the probability of event B is the probability that either a two of hearts, three of diamonds, eight of spades, or a king of clubs is drawn. Now the classical approach would tell us to take the number of elements in event B and divide by the number of elements in the sample space. And in this case, there are only four cards in event B. They are specifically the two of hearts, three of diamonds, eight of spades, or king of clubs. We take those four cards and divide by the 52 cards in a standard deck of cards to get uh, the probability of B being 4 over 52. Now the probability that a card drawn is either a 2, 3, or 7, or 8 of spades or king of clubs is the probability of A union B. And again, the classical approach would tell us to take the number of elements in A union B and divide by the number of elements in the sample space. Well, in this case, there are 14 cards in A union B. They are the four twos, the four threes, the four sevens, and then the one eight of spades and the one king of clubs. So we take that 14 and divide by 52. So the classical approach tells us that the probability of A union B is 14 over 52. Now, the probability of A intersect B is, again, by the classical approach, the number of elements in A intersect B divided by the number of elements in the sample space. And what is A intersect B? Well, it's the number of elements. It is the elements that are common to both A and B. Well, the only two cards that are common are the two of hearts and the three of diamonds. So the number of elements in A intersect B is 2, and then the number of elements in the sample space is, again, 52. So the probability of A intersect B is 2 divided by 52.